Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm Will from MySpace, and we are live from London for another MySpace live web chat. Um, we are deep in the heart of MySpace, and with me is a young lad who is literally the most talked about person on the entire internet. And you'll be talking to him in just a second. Um, firstly, this is how it works. Um, in the chat below, you can ask anything you like. Just log in with your MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, or AIM login, and send us your message. So, here he is, the wonder boy, the phenomenon, Mr. Justin Bieber. What's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. So we've got a lot of questions from fans. A lot of questions from fans. It's kicking off. Um, and I'm going to start with a question from the blog. We've got a lot of good questions uh, on the blog this week. This one's from Holly. Hello, Holly. She asks, when will you have a tour in the UK? That's quite a common question. In the, in the UK, I'll be doing a tour um, later this year. We're going to do some shows out here. Cool. Any tours in Europe planned? Um, yeah, we're, well, we're going to be doing some shows. Uh, nothing, um, nothing in set date yet. Nothing concrete yet. Cool. Keep us posted All on right. your Twitter and your MySpace. Um, we've got Jen here asking, what's it like hearing a million girls shouting your name and saying I love you? Does it ever get annoying? Um, no, it doesn't get annoying. I mean, uh, I like all the support that I've been getting. All my fans have been, you know, incredible. And uh, I've just been having, you know, a great time with it. Nice. Um, there was a lot of girls screaming outside earlier, I just heard. Yeah. How many were there? Um, I don't know. I didn't count. No? You didn't sort of check them all out and score them? One nah. to ten? <laughs> um, well, China Ran, there's a good question on the blog here. She asks, your style is very pop but you were all about R&B when you started out. Why did you decide to change your style for the album? Of course, the album My Worlds, which is out next week. Yes, um, My, World, uh, My Worlds in the UK comes out um, on Monday. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, but no, I, I mean, I didn't change my style. I'm still, you know, um, like pop R&B. That's always yeah. been, you know, what I, what I liked. If you were going to deviate from, uh, from that to any other style of music, which do you think it would be if you, if you were forced to pick another style of music? I don't know. I would never be forced to. <laughs> That's a good answer. I like that. Yeah. man who sticks to his guns. Um, he hasn't brought any guns with him. No, I didn't. I'm not strapped. No. Um, Jody asks, uh, what's the worst experience you've had whilst being famous? Thanks, Jody. The worst experience I've had? I mean, I don't really have bad experiences. They've been pretty good. Um, you know, the time in, in Long Island where I didn't get to, you know, hang out with my fans. I was supposed to go there for a signing and things got too crazy. They shut down the, the mall, so that was pretty oh, no. disappointing. Um, I saw you tweet out earlier today about fans bouncing off your car. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of fans hitting the windows and stuff. Don't go bouncing off his car. Nah. Um, could get quite hurt. Could damage the car. Could damage yourself. He could be liable for that, don't that. Mess up your insurance uh, history. Yeah, I wouldn't be liable. Puts your premium lying. up. Yeah. Um, uh, Ebony asks, would you ever date a fan if you got to know them? Yeah, I mean, I think that it's whatever the situation is. If, if, if that happens, then, you know, it happens. But, you know, I'm not going to... Not going to force it? No. You know what, the most popular question on the blog by far was absolutely, would you take the time to get to know a fan? Yeah. Which is a strangely specific question, but I think a lot of people were wondering, uh, amongst the sort of masses of girls, um, would it put you off if someone approached you and you knew they were a fan of yours? Would it sort of put you off having a, some, any sort of relationship with them? Would it be a bit weird? Or, um, I mean, I'm not gonna, I, I don't, I'm, I, I'm not gonna date a girl that's gonna be like, Oh my gosh, Justin, oh my gosh, Justin. Yeah. Like, that's just not, I'm not Asking not. for your autograph every yeah. night when you get home. Yeah. That'd be a bit weird. Um, we've got Rob, Rob on the blog. Um, he says, what inspires you as a musician? What inspires me? Um, you know, like, my fans inspire me as well as like, you know, just my mom inspires me and like, my dad and, and you know, God inspires me. But like, I'm a, like, I've looked up to a lot of, like, musicians as well, like Michael Jackson and Boyz II Men and people like that. Uh, and who have you met that you, you know, of those people who inspire you, have you met a lot of them? Yeah, or? I met Boyz II Men. I met, wow. I met, um, I didn't get to meet Michael Jackson, but, um, uh. yeah. Yeah. 
Um, hey, Rebecca, this is a question from Rebecca on the blog. How many girlfriends have you had, and who is your best friend? Um, how many girlfriends have I had? I've had like, like three. Three, three girlfriends. And are you um, a long-term kind of guy? Um, I mean, I can be. Just depends. <laughs> and who is your best friend? My best friend. I have two, uh, Ryan and Chaz, and uh, I have Julian is one of my other best friends. Cool. So you, I guess you're with certainly Ryan a lot of the time on tour and on promo tours and stuff. Yeah. That's great. That's really good. Um, do you, do you oh, it's not him, by the way. Oh, it's not Ryan. I'm so he, sorry. He's a, he's a good friend of mine, but uh, I wouldn't <laughs> consider him a best friend. <laughs> do you ever bring any of your best friends out on tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought that was what you were talking about. Um, yeah, right. But my, my friend Ryan Butler, he's uh, he travels with me. He was in, in New York the other day um, with me. And, uh, but yeah, shout out to my boy Ryan. What's up, Ryan? What's up? Um, this, is, um, <laughs> this is Jen, uh, a question on the blog. Do some negative comments people have towards you tend to get under your skin? Um, not, no, not at all. It bounces just, off you a bit. Yeah. What's the, uh, I mean, do, do any comments, what's it like when uh, the press talk about you? I mean, how do you feel about that? Whether it's good or bad, <sighs> how does it sort of strike you? It's, um, it's cool. I mean, any, you know, I'm glad to just be, be on in the press and have, you know, that attention. Yeah. So it's, it's good. Can't grumble. Any, all publicity is good publicity, you say? I mean, how do you feel about that? I don't, right. I don't necessarily think that's true, but like, I think that publicity is, is good, like. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's also, a lot of people say it's, there's no, uh, nothing worse than being not talked about at all, as well, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Demi asks, will you ever do a tour around the UK? We've already had that one. Yeah. But the answer's very soon, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, Liz, hello, Liz. Uh, Liz is asking, what is a typical day, when you're not on tour, for Justin Bieber? A typical day? Is you know I don't know I don't really have a typical day you know usually um, it's it's all different whether we're like on promo tour whether we're like waking up early to do radio or yeah. or like photo shoots so everything is different it doesn't you know I don't have a typical day. Um, a lot of people ask about whether you sort of miss the life you had before you were famous. Yeah. And what do you miss about it? Oh, oh, I'm tired. Sleep. Um, yeah. Lying um, in bed till 12 noon. Yeah, I definitely like miss teenagers. that. I miss that. But, you know, I, I miss, like, just being able to hang out with my friends and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't get to hang out with them as much as, you know, I'd like to. But do you, have, do you ever think maybe in the future, like way, way in the future, when you're maybe in your 30s or 40s or whatever, do you ever sort of have a dream about sitting on the front porch of a, a nice little villa somewhere in the middle of nowhere when it's all died down and... Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I don't. I don't know. I don't think that far ahead. <laughs> right now, I'm just thinking of tonight when I get to sleep in my in that nice bed. Nice. Um, how many days have you been in the UK? You've been here for I don't know, like two, three days. Two days. You celebrated your birthday here last time you were here, but didn't you? Or were you like, nope. Your 16th birthday. You celebrated yeah. it back home. Yeah, yeah, oh, back nice. home. Yeah. Um, got a, a question from the live chat. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, you must have been to quite a few places by now. Yeah, I've been to a bunch of places, um, but still, I still like my hometown, Stratford. Stratford? Yeah. Have you ever been to Stratford in London? I have. The original Stratford? No. Nope. It's where they're building the Olympic Stadium. It's, uh, it's a bit edgy at the moment, but really? yeah, you should, you should drop down. It's good. I was uh, actually born in in London. Oh, really? Not here, London, but like a London, like an hour away from Stratford in, right. Can in Canada. Nice. Yeah. Um, it was good, good to have you in the original London, keeping it real. Um, Joanna asks, if a fairy gave you three wishes, what would you wish for? Well, the first wish would be for um, unlimited wishes. <laughs> because that just makes sense. And then the second wish would be for, um, second wish, I don't know, these are big. Probably like to, 
be able to fly. That'd be awesome. Yeah. What would fly. you do if you could fly? Just fly everywhere. Just fly aimlessly. Yeah, and then the third, third would be um, to um, get rid of poverty. Nice. Yes. That would be pretty cool. That would be cool. Imagine that. Yeah. Um, I like that. Good question, Joanna. Look, there's a photo as well. Nice. Nice. There you go. It's official. Um, <laughs> Princess Rose asks, have you ever been in love? Um, no, I haven't been in love before. Oh. No. Not I yet. I think that's a bit of a call out, if you don't mind me saying, just on your behalf. Um, okay, Alyssa asks, uh, what do you look for in a girl? Um, I look for, you know, a girl with that, that's funny, that, that can make me laugh. I like a girl that's, um, that has a nice smile and nice eyes. I just heard some screaming outside. Um, a lot of people are asking as well, sort of like, out of all the A-list celebrities, who do you fancy the most? Who do I fancy? Yeah. Uh, Beyonce. Yeah. I think she's super hot. Um, cool, I'll, I'll tell Jay-Z. Right. Sure, I'm sure he'd be all right with that. He's a pretty generous guy. Yeah. Um, Donna asks, What's the best thing about being famous? The very best thing. The best thing about being famous? Um, I don't know, I get to travel the world and see like amazing things. That's nice. What's, what's some of the highlights you've seen on your travels, Justin? The what? Some of the highlights you've seen on your travels. Um, so what, was, what was the sort of moments that made you sort of real, really sort of take it like all in? And when I, the Eiffel Tower and like, yeah. um, things like that. Nice. What about in London? What's your favourite thing about London? I like the Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace. You, they could probably afford to give you a wing of Buckingham Palace. They probably wouldn't notice that. It's so big. It's got some like, I don't know, hundreds of rooms, a thousand yeah. rooms, something crazy. Um, Audrey asks uh, on the live chat, she's asking when's your European tour and uh, Justin has answered that. But she also says, are you coming to Luxembourg? Do you want to go to Luxembourg? Um, where is that? We could just go to Luxembourg now if you want. It's, um, it's basically between, uh, sort of around France and Belgium and uh, around there. And it's a tiny place, it's just a city and uh, that city makes up a country. So yeah, good on you Audrey for being from Luxembourg. You, uh, you are statistically amazing. Um, Amelia asks uh, on the live chat, what's your favorite TV show? Favorite TV show? I don't get to watch a lot of TV, but I like Smallville. Nice, Smallville. Um, do you, uh, uh, what's your favorite superhero, I think? Superman? I can see he was a bit of a Superman. I'm, I'm a bit of a Batman myself, so, like late nights. Um, Ellie asks, if you could have lunch, specifically lunch, uh, with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Uh, Chuck Norris. <laughs> nice. He'd have a pretty bitchin' lunch, wouldn't he? Pardon? I mean, he'd have a big lunch, like, I don't know, he'd, he, I think he'd out-lunch me. I have pretty big lunches myself, but I think Chuck Norris would have the mother of all lunches. Yeah. Um, a lot of energy drinks. Um, Genesis is asking, uh, I just want to know if you miss your old life before you were famous. You kind of answered that, but... Mm, yeah, uh, well, yeah, I miss, you know, my friends and family, of, you know, that I don't get to see as much. Um, Ella asks, what is your favourite song of all time? Uh, my favorite song of all time would be Down on Bended Knee. Oh, no. Nice. Boys to Men. Yeah. Big Boys to Men fan. Yeah, for sure. What's your favorite track off uh, your new album, My Worlds? Uh, a song called Up um, is my yeah. favorite. Cool. Yeah. How come? I don't know. I just like it. It's like the beat. I like, you know, everything about it. It's just a nice song. When you, uh, when you first completed the album, did you hear back and uh, was it instantly obvious what the singles would be and what the, the highlights would be? You know, I, didn't, I don't know. I just, I, I think it's a, it's a good album and I think that there'll be a bunch of singles off of it. Yeah, no, I think so. It's great. I recommend you all check it out. It's out next Monday mm -hmm. in the UK. Um, Rebecca asks, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Most embarrassing thing I've ever done? was probably break my foot on stage. Ooh. Yeah. 
pretty embarrassing. Did you carry on and check it out afterwards, or um, was it a showstopper? No, well, it was the last song of the night, and I finished the song, went off stage, and we went straight to the hospital. Good on you. That's sensible. If you ever break your foot on stage, people, get to the hospital. Um, uh, Faye asks, what's the craziest thing a fan has ever done? Apart from screaming and bouncing off your car. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty crazy. Um, has anybody ever done something really crazy, like outside, outside the boundaries of social convention, like running up to you naked or throwing oranges at you? or I don't know. I haven't, I haven't had anyone run naked at me. But no, I, I'm There's a challenge, people. Is Get it? to it. <laughs> let's, show, let's show them what the, UK, what the UK's got, all right? Yeah. No? <laughs> um, Carly asks, if you weren't in the music industry, what would you want to be when you graduate um, high school or college? Um, what I want to... I, I mean, I don't know. I'm still... I don't really... I'm not really concentrated on that right now. No, I don't blame you. I mean, now's not the time to be worrying about a second uh, career in, you know... Carpentry or something. Isn't yeah. It? Um, right, we've got one more question. We've got time for one more question, people. Sorry. Um, this one is from Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Um, Justin, do you still feel like you're a regular teen? Me? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I feel like I'm a regular teenager. I just hang out with my friends. I do normal stuff. Eat McDonald's. Yeah. Stuff like that. Nice. Well, um, thanks for all your questions, everyone. We've just got to wrap up now. Uh, it's been amazing. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. See and you later, we'll talk everyone. Talk to you guys later. I'm out.